Doctors believed this baby boy wouldn't survive, but when they performed the C-section and laid eyes on him, they were utterly stunned. This is the story of Nick and Brooklyn Schnarr's miracle baby, Charlie, a testament to the power of hope. Nick and Brooklyn already had two cherished daughters, Sophia and Lily. They adored their girls and ensured they had everything they needed. Each morning, they lovingly prepared them for school, and Brooklyn was there to pick them up every afternoon. Life was good, filled with laughter and love. Then the couple received exciting news. They were expecting another child, a baby boy this time. Their hearts soared with joy. For the first time, they would welcome a son, completing the beautiful family they had always dreamed of. The couple eagerly began preparing for their baby boy's arrival. They shopped for baby essentials and followed every step of the pregnancy with care. Nick and Brooklyn made all their routine checkups a priority, with Nick ensuring Brooklyn had plenty of rest. When they shared the news with their daughters, the girls were overjoyed. They couldn't wait to meet their little brother. It was a time of pure excitement and joy for Nick and his entire family. Sadly, five months later, their joy over their unborn son took a heartbreaking turn. You're probably wondering why. The doctors delivered devastating news. Their baby had been diagnosed with a severe condition, shattering their hopes in an instant. On a fateful day, Brooklyn and her husband went for a routine checkup at the hospital. Sadly, after an ultrasound scan was done, Doctors diagnosed their baby with severe hydrocephalus, a condition also known as water on the brain. According to doctors, there was excess fluid in the baby's skull, with no way to drain it out. As a result, there was excessive pressure on his little brain. But how did this baby develop such a condition? Unfortunately, the doctors couldn't provide an answer to that. Nick and his wife were in tears when they heard the news. They couldn't believe that something like this could happen to their little boy. We couldn't believe it when the doctors told us our child had such an awful condition. You know, it completely took us by surprise. He was our first boy, and we couldn't bear the thought of losing him. We were worried and didn't know what to do next, Brooklyn said. A few days later, doctors referred the expectant couple to Cincinnati Children's Hospital in the United States. There, they were expected to find out more about their baby's condition. At this hospital, they met with some of the most highly respected fetal specialists in the state. At first, the medical experts gave the couple a comforting prognosis and told them to hope for the best. However, after some time, they stopped measuring the amount of fluid in their baby's head. It no longer mattered because the baby's health was in grave danger. Our baby's condition was so severe that at some point the specialists stopped measuring and monitoring his brain's fluid level because it was no longer important. The MRIs we saw were sickening to look at. We were in shock and just hoped for a miracle, Nick recalled. After a few weeks went by, doctors told the couple more terrifying news. They informed them there was over a 90% chance their baby would not make it. However, if he was fortunate enough to live, he would be born with severe brain damage that would affect his quality of life. Brooklyn and her husband were completely devastated when they heard the doctor's report. It appeared their chance of having a baby boy was gradually fading away. At that moment, it seemed like the only realistic option for them was to terminate the pregnancy. However, they decided not to do it. Rather, they vowed to do all it took to have their baby delivered safely. They promised to love him no matter how he was born. Despite how hopeless things looked, Nick and his spouse made a decision that brought them good fortune. Months later, they turned away from science and put their faith in God. Fortunately, they also had family and friends who kept praying for them. Brooklyn was temporarily moved to Cincinnati, Ohio. There, she stayed at a hotel close to the hospital in case she went into labor. On the other hand, her husband traveled back and forth because he also had to take care of their daughters, who were at home. A few weeks later, experts explained to them how to keep him alive, provided he survived. The pair went through a lot of meetings with medical specialists. We had a meeting with palliative care regarding the use of life-sustaining measures. We also had detailed, awful, and emotional discussions about the ethics of when we might need to remove or cease such measures, which would cause our baby to pass peacefully, Nick explained. However, 
He and his wife refused to give up on their baby boy. They believed God would keep their son alive and healthy. Time passed quickly, and the day came for Brooklyn to have her baby delivered. However, about 15 minutes before the doctors began the cesarean section, they told the expectant parents more disheartening news. They informed them that their baby wouldn't be able to breathe by himself and would need a breathing tube. Doctors also told them that they would have to take it off and allow their child to go to heaven to rest peacefully. This made the couple very sad. They never knew that a miracle was just around the corner. The doctors took the pregnant woman to where the delivery would take place. While the C-section was ongoing, Nick was very restless. He kept pacing around and hoped that his wife and son would be okay. However, a few minutes later, he heard something amazing. His baby boy was crying. Yes, you heard that right. The little lad was breathing on his own and wailing so loudly that Nick couldn't believe it. Nick stated that it was the sweetest sound he had ever heard in his entire life. The couple welcomed their little baby boy into the world on July 8. The doctors and nurses who performed the cesarean section were in shock when they saw the baby. They couldn't figure out how the tot was born perfectly healthy, even though he had moderate ventricular enlargement. They knew that could be treated with regular checkups, but how was baby Charlie alive and healthy? The medics told Nick and his wife that they didn't have a medical explanation for what had happened. They told us that somehow our son's brain naturally found a way to clear the blockage or reroute the fluid that was causing the oppressive backup of brain fluid. We believe it was a miracle from God. He proved that this plan was all that mattered, Nick said. The couple recalled that during their stay at the hospital, they heard the words miracles and divine intervention frequently. In the end, God proved to them that he was in control of the situation. Even the doctors and nurses were sure of one thing. Baby Charlie was a miracle of science. For Nick, the mystery behind his son's miraculous healing was the power of prayer. From the moment he learned of his son's diagnosis, family, friends, and even strangers prayed fervently for his little boy, and incredibly, it worked. Isn't it amazing? The proud father shared, I'm a practical person who believes in science and medical advancements, but deep down, I know God had a hand in this. I give him all the honor and glory. Without his intervention, I'm certain my son wouldn't be here today. Prayer is truly powerful. God is real, and he still performs miracles. He was deeply grateful for the prayers, encouraging words, support, messages, emails, and love he and his wife received from friends and family during those challenging times. Doctors transferred baby Charlie to the neonatal intensive care unit, where he received specialized care. Remarkably, his health improved day by day. After several challenging weeks, he was finally able to go home with his parents. Today, Charlie is not only thriving, but continues to defy all odds, proving that he has a remarkable path ahead. His story serves as a powerful reminder to never lose hope. Even in the darkest times, Faith can lead us out of seemingly impossible situations, reminding us that God always has a plan. I'm really keen to know your thoughts on this story, so please don't hesitate to share your insights in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video and found it engaging, I invite you to subscribe to our channel for more similar content. Feel free to share this video, take good care of yourselves, and I'm excited to connect with you in our future videos.